Right. So Matthias, congratulations to three Austria on winning the Ookla speed test award of fastest 5g mobile network for three consecutive periods, meaning for the last 18 months, your network has been the leader in the country. So maybe you can tell us a little bit high level about the network strategy behind this performance. Absolutely. Um, and thanks for the, for the congratulations. We, we, we see and believe in 5G always as, as the most efficient technology, uh, outperforming previous technology in all dimensions. Uh, and we we're convinced that uh, beside of being able to, to increase capacity and resolve capacity constraints in the past, uh, that will enable us a broad range of future perspectives. Uh, and therefore, we made uh, a few years in the past, we made a brave decision to invest into 5G, <laughs> not only here and there, but nationwide. So we acquired the reasonable share of frequency spectrum uh, in both 3.5 gigahertz uh, and as well at 750 mega, 1500 megahertz. And we decided to upgrade each and every single base station into our net, in our network to 5G. Uh, and, and we're doing that with a very comprehensive rollout plan program we've set up. Uh, it's, uh, it's about to use the full ingredients what, what 5G has <laughs> brings with, with them. So we, we utilize the new spectrum to the full extent. We, we utilize and uh, and, and install leading edge equipment. Uh, and we utilize and install at every single site, uh, powerful, massive MIMO antennas. Uh, and so that's, that's certainly a difference uh, that we go strictly to new spectrum with new antennas compared to potential others in the market. And what we see immediately is in a significant improvement um, of, of the quality for the customer in terms of performance, in terms of capacity, and that can be measured. It can be measured in, uh, say, in, in, in improved uh, customer satisfaction. And on top, obviously, we were happy to, to see also in, say, in, in market benchmarkings that we're good. <laughs> And to win uh, the, the mentioned Okla Speed Test Award three times in sequence, that's obviously something that proves us right uh, in, in our way. And uh, in, the last, um, in the last test, we were even front uh, 55% uh, compared to the next one. So that's, that's, that's certainly a good proof. Uh, and that's all, we'd also take it as, a, as an honor and uh, as a, as in recognition uh, for the team, for the, for the hard work they all did uh, with all the highest dedication. Uh, I think all that, let's say, is not coming overnight. Uh, it's, it's a result of a strong team play with Royal Partners, with the DS equipment supplier, and uh, with, say, with our internal radio plans and so on. And we were, we've been working together for many years uh, so it's, it's, there are no secrets, it's just focus, it's commitment, and it's strong team play. Excellent. And Kurt, maybe you can take us through ZTE's role in delivering this network. And uh, given the deployment and activation timeline, talk us through any additional complexities that came about related to the COVID-19 pandemic. Uh, yes, first of all, thank you to the whole team of uh, Tri Austria to the great collaboration in the last three years. And yes, the last three years for the whole world was the years of epidemic. And it was uh, quite a challenge to uh, really build up this uh, highly efficient or to, to follow up on this highly efficient project, project together with the team of Freie. And uh, it was quite challenging. And, and I think we established a, a, a row of things in order to overcome the impact of the epidemic. Uh, first of all, we established the cloud delivery center, uh, which had a direct connection between uh, the local project teams and, and uh, our team in the headquarter. Uh, and it was uh, with no time frames. 
So this highly improved the delivery uh, efficiency. Uh, we introduced also various tools, efficiency in Hanban for the data configuration, for the network optimization, performance and processing speed of user complaints. And this, this was maybe one of the keys to be successful uh, in this in this project, uh, yes, we are we are really eager and keen to work together uh, closely also in the future to even enhance and and improve the network quality and network modernization. And uh, you're really looking forward in this in this whole project. And so, Matthias, you talked us through your spectrum base stations, radios, and your cloud platform. So you've got this really robust five G foundation in place. Can you look ahead and tell us about any? future plans for further increased service differentiation, any new types of revenue opportunities that you see, just what's next for the network? All what we do is at the end of the day is uh, uh, to keep the customer in mind and to have uh, the customers uh, or make the customers happy and, and uh, increase customer satisfaction. So what we did so far uh, is obviously, obviously to, uh, to have a good start. Um, to provide positive experience for our existing customers, in particular for the for, for the consumers, uh, smartphone customers, uh, and and uh, uh, probably even more relevant for the mobile broadband customers. Uh, but we see also the next um, opportunity in the business area. Um, so. In terms of the network, we will continue with our comprehensive rural program. So we will upgrade the existing sites and we will add additional sites uh, expanding into more rural areas and densify our network uh, in areas with high traffic loads. Uh, and what we see, and that's potentially one element where we see an opportunity uh, in there is still here and there a lack of powerful broadband access in rural areas. And we would see 5G as real alternative uh, to fixed networks. Uh, it was in the early days of 5G, uh, in the early days of 4G. Uh, and we think there's a revival uh, for 5G as say as a technology for fixed wireless access uh, because we can roll out faster uh, and there's less investment required per household. So we would focus uh, beside of capacity and functionality for the urban areas, particular broadband in remote rural areas. And uh, also with the results of the last frequency auction, uh, we, uh, we provided also highest commitments in particular uh, to expand the network coverage to even remote areas. Uh, and have taken over uh, the commitment to cover more than 700 rural communes, which are currently lacking of powerful internet access. And what we also see is a huge potential in the business area. Uh, say, with if we look further down the, the roadmap of 5G, then I personally think that uh, the high flavor of features and functionalities will, at the end of the day, help in the industrial area for business customers, providing them with uh, very specific quality for services, for vertical uh, use cases. Um, so I, I see the big potential there. Excellent. So Kurt, Matthias described opportunities in the enterprise space, rural expansion, network densification, and uh, even fixed wireless access. So in this next stage, how is your team at ZTE going to help 3 Austria do all of that and maintain the competitive advantage that they have currently? Uh, yes, basically we are, we are really uh, keen to deploy always a very high quality network and to be innovative uh, as needed and then more innovative even at the current, current customer needs. So the consumer needs is in is, is uh, really there. So we, we try to anticipate all those needs and we, we deployed also a lot of new technologies, including like 5G network slicing. We have a new radio carrier aggregation. And uh, yes, uh, the just recently presented uh, commercializ commercialization of the 5G standalone uh, will improve uh, the 5G user experience. Yeah, and, and I think that's 
by the end of the day, the most important thing, yeah, like Mr. Balderman already mentioned, we're doing all this to improve the customer experience that they have really significant uh, um, significant upstream in the in the whole five G experience and the in the mobile data experience. We uh, introduced also, and this is maybe a very important part at the moment. Uh, we are all suffering from the uh, crucial uh, or from from the problems in 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 power availability, the skyrocketing pricing in in uh, in in energy prices. So we, we have really introduced new versions of the new hardware, introduced next generation and really uh, prepare everything for the future. We, for example, our, our uh, network, our uh, 5G network also really shows the, the low energy consumption, which is more and more important on a business, uh, business case topic, but also from a green side uh, uh, position. So this is very important for us, and I think this also buys in into this uh, very not innovative uh, story we do together with our customer here. Yeah, this shift from non-standalone to standalone 5G seems to really be picking up momentum globally. And I know 3 Austria is something of a pioneer here, given your recent launch. So Matthias, maybe give us some detail of that essay launch. Talk to us about what that capability does for you today and maybe what it does longer term uh, with regard to some of those priorities you mentioned, maybe particularly in the enterprise industrial space. 5G not standalone uh, it was the mean to, to improve the performance uh, and enhance mobile broadband. So we have higher performance, we have more capacity, we have reduced latency. But that, that's not all what, what 5G promised. And therefore, there's no, there was no reason to relax. Uh, we, see, we see 5G nonsense alone as a bridging technology to go for the next step. And that's exactly what we did. <laughs> we, we, we were convinced and uh, we, we see that the, the more relevant uh, functionality and more, uh, more relevant and broader future protect, uh, perspectives come with 5G standalone. What well, we would consider the real 5G as it, uh, uh, as you, you get rid of all the constraints uh, of 4G as an anchor uh, spectrum. Uh, and only with uh, 4G, 5G standalone, uh, you open up the doors uh, to the other two dimensions uh, being uh, mobile machine type, uh, massive machine type communications and ultra reliable low latency communications, which is the two dimensions which are uh, being most relevant to industry customers. So we could we could provide tailor made qualities with network slicing. Uh, we speak uh, about new business products. Uh, and we could uh, implement private networks uh, with Mac functionality <laughs> and all that is to come. It's, it's obviously kind of a new area um, and we will learn and our customers will learn, but it's, it's a bright future. And what we did last, last Thursday, you mentioned it, uh, we've just switched on 5G standalone uh, and we launched a completely new product in the Austrian market uh, uh, um, related to fixed wireless access uh, based on 5G standalone. And with that, uh, we provide consumer, consumer product with speeds up to 500 megabit per second and guaranteed bit rates. So a kind of premium internet service to consumer customers. And, and that's not only the, the first uh, in Austria, but uh, according to our knowledge, uh, that's the first uh, first uh, guaranteed bid rate product for a consumer mass market worldwide. And uh, so we are quite proud. <laughs> it's it's something we they, where we start completely in a new area. Um, but with all that experience, we're gonna make, we're quite confident to make this next steps tune. And those steps are certainly uh, then also addressing other areas like the business area. Excellent. 
And Kurt, maybe you can talk to us a little bit about your expectation for ongoing cooperation with uh, Three Austria as they embark on this journey and try to capture all these opportunities that standalone opens up for them. Yes, as uh, already mentioned by Mr. Balderman, I think uh, that's that's especially for the business market, for the 2B market, that's really the promising story. Uh, we know that uh, many consumers, they uh, uh, really uh, have a loan especially, but I think especially it, there is a big potential. Uh, maybe um, we will see what 5G is all about. For example, this year we are working together uh, with Tri Austria and Vienna University of Technology to research the possible 5G vertical applications uh, in several diversified industrial scenarios. Uh, for example, intelligent manufacturing, indoor precise positioning, or uh, 5G even private network sharing. So this is this is really something uh, for me. What is 5G all about? We are eager to even have more with Tri Austria and to expand this great opportunity which we have with the 5G technology in the tube market and, and by the end of the day it must be a win-win situation between Tri Austria and ZTP and then we did everything right. Well, gentlemen, thank you for taking the time to share your perspectives and talk to our audience about the work ZTE is doing with Three Austria in creating meaningful change today and positioning both parties for long-term success. Thank you. Thanks to everybody. Thanks a lot.